My dearest brothers and sisters. This is Hakan speaking. I greet you in peace and love. A reader asked a question about consensual incest is that okay? What if people engage in incest not for procreation but just for the fun of it? I'll be sharing my perspective on this, but as always, earth humans are of course free to make their own laws and determine their own cultural norms. First of all, if one of the people doesn't consent or is pressured into the incest or is a minor, then that's of course not okay. But this isn't specific to incest. Second, note that having children with a first cousin really isn't that dangerous, biologically speaking. There's not much of a biological argument to ban that. Yes, having children with a first cousin is slightly riskier than having children with someone who isn't related to you at all, but it's also slightly riskier for women to have children later in their life. And we're also not shaming or banning women from having children later in their life, as indeed we shouldn't. So I don't see anything wrong with people having children with first cousins. Even if we're talking about a brother and sister having sex, but steps are taken to prevent pregnancy, then there's still no real biological argument to ban that. It's just two consenting adults doing something, and this is not harming anyone else. People may think it's icky, and certainly I feel no urge to have sex with my own sister. However, something feeling icky is not sufficient reason to ban something. Now in my mind, people should be banned from having sex with their parents, even if everyone involved is 18 plus, even if steps are taken to prevent pregnancy. There's groomer like and abuse of power issues there. The but I consent argument doesn't really fly here in my mind because who knows how the parent raised the child. The way we do it in our society is that we'd say you can't have sex with your parent unless you can convince a judge to allow it for your specific situation. And the judge would appoint a mind-reading psychologist to evaluate the specific situation. But I know that's not how earth works right now. So if I had to choose between making this legal or illegal, I'd vote to make that illegal. The point that's tough to decide in my mind is, should society ban a brother and sister from having children together? Because yes, in this case the risk of unhealthy offspring is indeed much higher. And so a protect the children argument can certainly be made here. To give some nuance, the picture that people have in their mind of a child born from incest is someone with severe deformities or having such poor health that they can barely function. This is only what happens when you have repeated incest, going back generations. Yes, a brother and sister having children together is more likely to lead to an unhealthy child, and yes that's bad, but most likely the child will not be malformed or be unable to have a normal life. That's not an accurate mental picture that people have. Still, an incest child is on average less healthy than a non-incest child. I can see both sides of this argument. Personally, I would argue that it's not illegal for people with horrible hereditary diseases to have children, and in some cases that's more risky for the child than two siblings having children. So if it's not illegal for people with severe genetic disorders to have kids, then it logically doesn't make sense to ban siblings from having kids. So I would vote against banning siblings from having kids. Yes, I understand that it's not politically feasible to ban people with severe genetic disorders from having children. because that's eugenics or close to eugenics while it is politically feasible to ban brothers and sisters from having children because most people think that's icky however what happens to be politically feasible versus what happens to be considered icky isn't a great basis for policy that said if a close friend of mine told me that he wanted to have children with his sister then i'd make sure that they understood the risks for the children i'd ask if they had considered alternatives such as ivf combined with a sperm donor So this means that eggs get taken from the woman's ovaries, then they get fertilized with another man's sperm, not her brother's, and then the fertilized eggs are transferred to her uterus. That way the couple can still have a child together, but there's no incest-related risk to the child. If the couple had only recently started their relationship or only recently started having sex, I would insist that at least they wait with having children until the metaphorical honeymoon period is over. And I'd also wonder Why do this sister and brother want to have children with each other? Is it just genuine love, which is possible? Or do at least one of the people involved feel that they won't be able to find anyone else? If both people had several other reasonably attractive dating options, would they still want to be with each other? If not, then maybe the person needs some self-confidence or needs to work on themselves until they become attractive to other people. But again, it's possible that the brother and sister simply love each other. So, That's what I have to say about incest. I and the other galactics 
Love everyone endlessly and unconditionally. Your star brother. Hakan.